Still shaking off our pregame rust from our month off from basketball, so I'm a little behind here today. Yeah. <laughs> Science excavating pregame here this evening. We'll make it brief. First pitch is set for 5 p.m. Signs Excavating offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Signs Excavating can assist with your general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Signs Excavating is here to assist. Signs Excavating team is committed to doing the job right, on schedule, and on budget. Based in rural defiance, Signs Excavating serves all of Northwest Ohio, providing reliable and affordable excavating services for your home business and industrial property. Full offering of excavating and trucking services, including stone hauling, trenching, demolition, land clearing, and drainage work is available. Signs Excavating is the official pregame sponsor of the Snow Rams Live Spring Sports Season. For all your excavating needs, get a hold of Josh, 419-769-2290. For your trucking needs, you can call Brad, 419-481-3738. Visit them on Facebook or signsexcavating.com. So I spent 45 minutes on a pregame that I'll try and work in throughout <laughs> throughout the game, like I said. Still shaking off the rust from basketball season. Rams lineup. Skyly Zolman on the mound. Tanae Smith behind the plate. Paige Carpenter at first. Logan McQuillan at second. Tegan Norton at short. Paige Gamby at third. Rams outfield left to right. Zoe Ross, Diana Frazier, and Marion Pittman. First batter. Be Bren Wilhelm for the visiting Bowling Green, Bowling Green Bobcats, who last year were 14 and 7. First pitch, foul back. We are underway here at Sonora High School. 456, your first pitch. David Franck weather here at the softball complex is 48 degrees. It says partly cloudy, but we have yet to see the sun. Zolman Zol, one pitch. Catches the inside corner for strike two. Skyly last year was 18 and two, 2.41 ERA. She had a 125 innings pitch, 226 strikeouts. That one off the glove of Rams backstop to Nay Smith to the backstop. Count is one and two. Skyly allowed 57 runs, 43 earned runs, and walked 69 in 125 innings. One and two pitch outside just a bit. Count evens at two balls and two strikes. Skyly was the Crescent News Player of the Year as a sophomore. Coach Fairchild also was the Crescent News Coach of the Year. So the Rams cleaned up the postseason hardware. Two two pitch check swing strike three call. Zolman starts the season off with a strikeout her first. So Wilhelm down looking. Again, Oates batting in the second position. Oates will be the shortstop for the Bobcats. First pitch, ball one. Second pitch, fouled right back at you. Count evens at one ball, one strike, one out. No score just underway here at Tenora High School. Bowling Green and Tenora. Rams coming off a GMC championship last year, finished seven and zero, and nineteen and four overall. One one pitch, changeup stays outside. Two balls, one strike. To McKenna Oates. Two one pitch for Skyly. Catches the inside corner. Count evens. Two balls, two strikes. So he zeems on deck for the Bobcats. Skyly's 2-2 pitch fouled off first base side out of play. Count stays even at two balls, two strikes. Day off tomorrow for the Rams. Back here Thursday. 2-2 pitch swung on and missed. That's kind of a check swing, but swung on and missed for out number two. Second strikeout for Zolman here in the first inning. Zeem steps in for the Bobcats. She will be the third baseman when Bowling Green takes the field. That's from the right side of the plate. Number 24 on her red jersey. Pitches inside, ball one. 
Taylor Rothenbuehler on deck for Bobcats. 1-0 pitch outside, two balls, and no strikes. Zolman's 2-0, fouled off into the net. Two balls, one strike, two out, nobody on here, just underway, top of the first inning at Sonora High School, 48 degrees here on the Tuesday. Lee Rams back here. Full week of games this week. 2-1 pitch. Inside corner. Strike two. Check swing. Strike three. Zolman sets down the side. Bobcats... Three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no ram errors. No Bobcats left on base after a half an inning here at Tenora High School. It's Bowling Green nothing and the Tenora Rams coming to bat. Van Stevens Body Shop is your number one voted auto collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. We have recently built a brand new state-of-the-art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco-friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Van Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. Van Stevens Body Shop would like to wish all teams good luck this season. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back here at Sonora High School. Zolman sent the Bobcats down in order. One, two, three. Three strikeouts for Skyly. For the Rams, Anna Frazier, Logan McQuillan, Tegan Norton, your first three hitters. Number four, Skyly Zolman. Number five, Paige Gabby. Sixth hitter is Paige Carpenter. Seventh hitter, Tanae Smith. Eighth hitter is Zoe Rostai. And the ninth hitter is Marion Pittman. On the hill is Megan Cramp for the Bowling Green Bobcats. Roll behind the plate. Rothen Bueller at first. Wokey at second. Oates at short. Zeems at third. Wilhelm in left. In center field is Sarah Conzi and Kennedy Brown in right. Frazier last year as a leadoff batter hit 475 and had 26 steals. Thanks for joining us here at Sonora High School. Coach Barshowitz coaching at first base. Coach Fairchild coaching at third here tonight for the Lady Rams. Last year, we said Sonora 19 4, 7 0 win the GMC. Cramps first pitch to Frazier. Strike called. Last year, the Rams had a batting average of 355, hit 30 home runs, and had 143 runs batted in. Kenna Cramps, 0 1 pitch coming to Anna Frazier. Frazier, oh, blooper over the shortstop's head. Right fielder, left fielder comes in, can't make the play. play. Frazier hustles her way into second base. Frazier leads off the game with a double. You know, with that little slap shot that she has. Logan McQuillan steps in. 406 for Logan last year. The all-star plays at second base throughout the season last year. Bats from the right side. First pitch fouled off. Did you get that? Strike one. No score here. Bottom of the first inning. Rams threatening with Frazier at second. McQuillan at the dish and Tegan Norton on deck. Or Tenora. <laughs> Megan Cramp on the hill for Bowling Green. Her 0 1 pitch is fouled back. No balls, two strikes to count to Logan McQuillan. 
Straight around, Logan. Wind blowing from left to right here at Tenora High School. Quillen digs in, 0-2 pitch coming from Megan Cramp. Frazier at second for Tenora. Swung on and miss. McQuillan That's all right. goes down swing for the first out. It's going to bring up Tegan Norton. Tegan, Tegan. 386 in 2022. Okay. Skyly waits on deck. Runner of second, still one out now. No score. Pitch is outside. Ball one to Tegan. Cramps 1 0 pitch coming to Norton. Swung on and missed. Count evens. One ball, one strike. Frazier takes off and heads down to third. Dana waited for the catcher to throw the, pit, the ball back to the pitcher and took off. So Rams with the runner at third with one out. One ball, one strike pitch to Tegan Norton. Strike two. One ball, two strikes to Norton. Norton playing shortstop for Coach Fairchild. You got this. Cramps one, two. Coming to Norton. Right hander winds, throws, change up, got Norton. Strike out for Cramp. For second. Out number two. Skyly Zolan steps in, 304, eight home runs, 22 RBIs for Skyly last year at the dish, and several late season home runs in crucial situations. Cramps first pitch to Zolan, swung on and miss. Break one. Paige Gamby awaits on deck for Tenora. Runner at third, Frazier, two outs now. No score here in the bottom of the first inning. 0-1 pitch to Skyly, swung on and missed. Cramp. It's a little off-speed pitch, keeping the Rams hitters off balance here in the first inning. Yeah. 0-2 oh, pitch coming from Zolman from Cramp. Swung on and missed. Strike three, Zolman goes down. Cramp strikes out three in the inning. Like Skyly did. So the Rams threaten do not score for Tenora in the bottom half of the first inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. Rams leave a runner. After one here at Tenora High School, we are scoreless. We'll be back right after this timeout here on Tenora Rams Live. Clubhouse Pizza in A is your small town alternative for happy food at a happy place. Featuring one of the area's best pizzas, Clubhouse Pizza in A will not disappoint. Wing Wednesdays, buffets on Thursday, happy hour on Friday. That's just a few of the things. Clubhouse Pizza in A asks for specials. Stop out after the game for amazing food, great drinks, and an awesome atmosphere. Hours of operation are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Or order some takeout at 419-658-2720. Come by for a visit at 210 East Main Street in a, or check them out on Facebook at Clubhouse Pizza in a. Rachel and Jason Gilliam and the great staff at Clubhouse Pizza in a are proud supporters of the Rams. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back at Tenora High School, no score after one inning. The Rams threatened, had a runner a second with nobody out, got as far as third with one out, and left her stranded there. Roth and Bueller, Vogel, and Cramp here for. Bobcats facing Skyly Zolman also strike out the side in the first inning. First pitch is inside. Ball one. Rothen Bueller, a junior, bats from the right side of the plate. Digs in against Zolman. Skyly's 1 0 pitch outside corner. Strike called. Count evens one ball, one strike. Top of the second, no score here at Tenora High School. 48 degrees on your David Franck weather. Sun trying to peek through here the, at Tenora. Still has yet to do so. 1-1 one, one pitch. Inside two balls and one strike. Skyly, who said 18-2 in 2022. 2-1 two, pitch stays outside 
Three balls and one strike to the number four hitter, the first baseman, Taylor Rothenbuehler. Zolman's 3-1. Swung on and miss. Counts full. Three balls and two strikes. Nobody out. Base is empty for the Bobcats. Crowell awaits on deck. 3-2. Foul right back into your living room. Count stays full at 3-2. and two. Baseball team playing at Macomb. JV hosting Wayne Trace next door. Softball JV at Bowling Green. Full count pitch fouled off. First base dugout. See some lasers shot into these dugouts at times. Set the Rams defense when we have a second again. 3-2 pitch coming from Zolman to Rothenbuehler. Fouled off again. Smith behind the plate. Carpenter at first. McCullough in the second. Gordon at short. Gamby at third. Rostai, Frazier, and Pittman in the outfield left to right. Skyler looks at the wristband. Gets the pitch selection. 3-2 pitch coming for the third time. Tap foul. Third base side. We'll do it for a fourth time. 3-2 pitch from Skyly to Rothenbuehler. A little bit low. Ball four. Rothenbuehler definitely worked that walk. Fouled off four Zolman pitches to stay alive. So Rothenbuehler at first with nobody out. No score here in the top of the second inning. Cassidy Krogel steps in. Runner at first, nobody out, no score. Pitch swung on and missed. Strike one. Skyly's 0 1 pitch coming. Get to the shortstop. Just Norton over to McQuillan. Pops out of her glove. Rothenbuehler at second. Kroger on at first. The error on second baseman. So two runners on. Nobody out here in the top of the second inning. Coach Fairchild is going to head out to the mound and have a brief visit with his infield. Said Coach Fairchild. The 2022 Crescent News Coach of the Year last year. Sky Lee was the Crescent News Player of the Year. Rams 2022 GMC Champions. Finished at 19-4. and four. Made it to the regional semifinals at Elida last year. Fairchild heads back to the dugout. Rams infield back to their positions. Megan Cramp steps in. Two on. Nobody out for the Bobcats. No score here in the top of the second inning. Rothenbuehler a second. Kroger at first. Zolman's pitch swung on and missed. Strike one. No balls. One strike. Runners at first and second. Over one pitch, scores down. Punts at third base side. Zolman fires over to first in time. McQuillan covers. Sacrifice does its job. Rothenbuehler moves over to third, down to second. Camp sacrifices herself, the first out. Trying to help herself, basically. Going to bring up number seven hitter, hitter Caitlin Rashley. Rashley is senior. Digs in from the right side. First pitch swung on and miss. Rashley just a little bit behind the Solman heater. 
No score. Bobcats threatening with runners at second and third and one out here in the top of the second. Zolman's pitch stays outside. Count evens. One ball, one strike. Thanks for joining us here on Tomorrow Rams Live on this Tuesday. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Swung on and missed. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Back here Thursday, Holgate Tigers for a makeup game. Friday, Archibald will be here. And Saturday, Patrick Henry. So the Rams, I think their first two weeks are actually all at home. 1-2 pitch coming. Strike. Three called. Out number two. Huge strikeout for Skyly. So Reconacy steps in, number eight hitter. She's the center fielder. Runner's still at second and third for the Bobcats. Now two outs. Scoreless here in the top of the first inning. Season opener. Zolman's pitch catches the outside corner. Strike one. Reconacy bats from the left side. She's also a senior. Zolman's pitch squares around the bunt. Bunts it right back to Zolman. Skyly throws over to McQuillan. She gets out of it. Bobcats had runners at second and third. Nobody out. Heck of a job by Skyly in the inning. Bobcats threaten. They do not score. No runs. No hits. One Ram error. Bobcats leave two after an inning and a half here at Snore High School. We are scoreless. Who couldn't use an extra 3000 or 2000 mm, Okay, how about 1000 or even 500 Those are the top four prizes in the most recent Tenora Athletic Boosters fundraiser. Tickets are $10 each or 6 for 50 Get a ticket at any Tenora home game. Just visit a booster member or go to our Facebook page at Tenora Athletic Boosters. The drawing will be held after 2,000 tickets are sold for a spring sports drawing. The Athletic Boosters is a nonprofit organization that supports the Tenora athletes, coaches, and athletic facilities. The Boosters' support is shown many ways, including volunteering time, raising money, and contributing funds to better enhance the Rams' teams or organization's performance. Yearly and lifetime memberships are available. That's the Tenora Rams Athletic Boosters who are a proud sponsor of Tenora Sports and Tenora Rams Live. Back, back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back at Tenora High School, Bobcats threaten do not score. Heading to the bottom of the second inning here at Tenora. It is bottom part of the order, or the middle part of the order for the Rams. Gamby, Carpenter, and Tanae Smith. <laughs> and of course the gremlins hit our Facebook feed so we'll try and reset that as we go along here never fails shouldn't take too long which is why this year we're trying to back up everything with the uh, camera with the recorder so we'll see Sometimes I think the hotspot resets his health after a while, honestly. But uh, we'll try and get everything back connected here. Gamby, Rams third baseman, takes a pitch high. Cramps 1-0. Strike called. One ball, one strike. No score here as the Rams bat in the bottom of inning number two. Page Gamby, the Rams third baseman, taking over for Quinn Horn. 1-1 one, one pitch. A little bit high. Quinn, the lone senior for the Rams last season. Two balls, one strike, nobody out here as the Rams bat in the second inning. Bobcats, golden opportunity in their top of the inning to not score. 2 1 pitch to Gamby. It's three balls and one strike. Last year, the Rams averaged seven runs a contest, gave up just under three. 
Craps 3-1 coming to Gamby. Swung on and miss. Count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. No score. Bottom of inning number two. When does die down, which all the fans appreciate. Now just need the sun to pop through just a bit. Three, two, pitch coming. Inside ball four. Gamby trots down the first base with a leadoff walk. Be the Rams' second base runner. Frazier led off the game with a double. Got as far as third. One out, did not score. Going to bring up Paige Carpenter. Paige last year, 324, two homers, 13 RBIs. Carpenter, Rams' first baseman. Pitch to Page, check swing, call to strike. Tony Smith on deck for Tenora. Cramps 0-1 pitch coming to Carpenter. Squeezes, fouled off. No balls, two strikes to Page Carpenter. Pitch can be at first. Lead off walk. Carpenter plate. Carpenter at the plate. 0 2 pitch from Cramp. Inside it hits her. The Carpenter trust on the first base after being hit by the pitch. Gamby who's on the second. So Rams have runners at first and second. Nobody out. Bring up Tanae Smith. Tanae 220 last season. Smith, the Rams catcher here in 2023, as she was last year. Zoe Rostai on deck for the Lady Rams. Cramps pitch. Smith squares her on the bunch. She bunts it straight back. Carpenter at first for Tenora. Gamby at second. Smith at the plate. No balls, one strike. We are scoreless here in the bottom of inning number two from Tenora High School. Cramps pitch. Smith checks swing strike two on Tenay. Cramp gets the sign. 0-2 pitch coming to Tanae Smith. Swung on and miss. Strike three. Smith goes down. Strike out number four for Cramp. One out. As Zoe Rostai steps in. Rostai 227 in 2022. Rams now runners at first and second with one out. Third baseman way in for the Bobcats. Pitch is low. Nice stop by the Bobcat catcher, Cassidy Krogel. Zeems way in at third. 1-0 pitch coming to Rostai. Up and in. Leans her back. Two balls. No strikes. One out. Scoreless here in the bottom of the second inning. Teams have had runners on base, just cannot push across the run. Cramps 2-0 coming to Zoe Rostai. Strike called. Two balls, one strike, one out. Rams runners on first and second. Scoreless here as they bat in the bottom of the second. Coach B coaching at first. Coach Fairchild coaching at third. 2-1 pitch coming to Rostai. She swings and misses. Count evens two balls and two strikes. Again, said Cramps got that off-speed pitch. Working like a gem here through the first eight batters. 2-2 two -two pitch coming. Swung on and missed. Down goes Rostai. Strikeout number five. For Cramp. Number nine hitter stepping in. Marion Pittman. 
Pittman bats from the right side. Rams runners still on first and second. Now with two outs. No score here on the bottom of inning number two. Cramps pitched to Pittman. Fouls it straight back. Strike one. Carpenter at first. For Tenor Gamby at second. Pittman at the plate. Falls it back. First base side. No balls and two strikes. Rams had a runner at third in the first inning with one out. Could not score. Rams with runners at first and second. Nobody out. Now they're still stranded there with two out. 0 2 pitch from Cramp coming to Pittman. Pittman in right field for Coach Fairchild. Strike three. Pittman goes down swinging. It's a six strikeout. Cramp strikes out the side. Again, Rams threaten. Do not score. Fort Snore in the bottom of the second. No runs. No hits. No errors. And they leave two. Heading to the top of the inning number three here at Sonora High School. We are still scoreless. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun of Defiance has been serving Northwest Ohio for over 30 years. Need cash? Collateral pawn loans are available. Stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 State Route 66 North in Defiance, Ohio. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms, ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give them a call 419-784-9880 or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say go Rams. Top of inning three here at Sonora. No score. Bottom part of the order. Kennedy Brown steps in for the Bobcats playing in right field. Six strikeouts for Zolman, or five strikeouts for Zolman, six for Cramp. Here, through the first two. Senior Brown steps in, bats from the right side. Zolman's first pitch. Strike cold. Gamby in a few steps at third. Pitch ball two, two balls and one strike. Nobody out here's the Bobcats bat in the top of the third inning. No score. Not for the lack of base runners. 2-1 pitch inside. Three balls and one strike. One black, one black. Let's go, Lee. Zolman's 3-1 to Brown, fouled into the first base dugout. Count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. Top of the lineup. Wilhelm on deck. Skyley's 3-2 to Brown. Inside corner. Strike. So I guess that was a ball. Mm, really. I caught the inside corner. She did not get the call. So Kennedy Brown trust on the first base with a leadoff walk. Wilhelm digs in for the Bobcats. Fouls it off into the first base net. Strike one. Brown with the leadoff walk. Wilhelm struck out looking her first plate appearance. Zolman's 0 1. Catches the inside corner. No balls and two strikes. Ken Oates on deck for the Bobcats of Bowling Green. 14 and 7 last year, 9 and 5 in the NNL. 0 2 pitches, ball one. One ball, two strikes. 
to the number two hitter, shortstop, Kenna Oates. Number Kenna Oates actually is on deck. Brent Wilhelm is the hitter. Kenna Oates is on deck. Kennedy Brown with a leadoff walk is at first. One ball, two strike. Count to Bryn Wilhelm. One, two pitch. That's a bit outside. Two balls and two strikes. Top of inning number three. No score here from Tenor. 48 degrees on your David Frank weather forecast. Solman's 2-2. Two, two. Stays a little bit high. Three balls and two strikes to Wilhelm. And Oates, as we said, on deck. Three two pitch coming from Zolman. Right down the middle. Strike three. Wilhelm goes down looking for the second time. That's the first out of the inning. Ken Oates steps in. She struck out swinging her first plate appearance. Pitch gets away from Tanae Smith. Down to second base goes Kennedy Brown. So Brown's on at second on the wild pitch. Oates at the plate. Brown at second. One out. Pitch to Oates. Fouled off first base side. Skyly is 1 1. Great. Called. One ball, two strikes. One out. Top of the third. No score. Bowling Green with a runner, a second. Kennedy Brown. The plate. McKenna Oates. Zolman's 1 2. Fouled off first base side foul. Count stays one ball and two strikes. One, two from Skyly up and in. Count evens two balls, two strikes. Brown at second. Oates at the plate. That pitch. Ball three. Count goes full. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Zeems on deck for the Bobcats. Three, two pitch coming. Fouled off first base side out of play. Six strikeouts for Skyly through. That pitch is fouled off first base side to first two and a third. So I think both pitchers have six strikeouts. Payoff pitch coming again. Three, two pitch coming to Oates from Zolman. Hit right back to the box. Frazier. Comes on, fires into Smith. They hold the runner at third. Throw gets away from Smith. A little bit high. Throws it. No, Snay Smith holds on to it. Scoring is Kennedy Brown. The first run of the contest. An RBI single. Oates on the throw. Goes to second. Just a single. And an RBI for McKenna Oates. Why didn't she say that? One nothing Bobcats here in the top of inning number three. Here at Tenora High School. Seems going to dig in for Bowling Green after a brief meeting at third with Coach Nolman. Graham's done with her meeting at the mound. Seems also struck out swinging her first plate appearance. Bobcats will finally break the ice here. Both teams have runners on base all through the first two innings. Zolman's pitch inside. Nice stop by Tanae Smith there. One ball, no strikes, one out. 
Runner at second for Bowling Green. They're up one nothing here. Zoe Zeems at the plate. Kenna Oates at second. Check swing. Stays a bit outside. Two balls and no strikes. Skyly's 2-0 pitch. Check swing. Strike called. Two balls, one strike, one out for the Bobcats. Carpenter in at third. Or Carpenter, even with the bag, at first. And Gamby in at third. Pitch swung on, fouled first base side into the net. Count even, two balls, two strikes. Rothen Bueller on deck. Pitches fouled off first base side. Solman's 2-2, swung on and missed, strike three. Down goes Zeems for the second time for out number two. Skyly's seventh strikeout. Taylor Rothenbuehler, the first baseman, walked her first plate appearance. Runner a second. Two outs now, fouled off. One strike to Rothenbuehler. Bobcats with a one nothing lead as they bat here in the top of inning number three. Swung on in this for strike two. Krogel on deck for the Bobcats. 0-2 pitch coming from Skyly Zolan to Roth and Bueller. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. Two outs here in the top of the inning number three. Later Rams back home Thursday. Inside, count evens, two balls. Oh, okay, call strike three. Eight strikeout for Zolman. Rothenbuehler caught looking in the inning. Bobcats get a run. Two someone, one hit. No Ram errors, and they leave one. After two and a half here at Tenora High School, Bowling Green won, and the Tenora Rams nothing. We'll be back right after this time out. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back at Tenora High School, Keith Brown, Dr. Fairchild with you. What's going on, Keith? How are you, sir? Nice to be back. Yes. Kind of missed all, most of the basketball season there as far as <laughs> yeah, broadcasting, but yes. uh, miss it. You know? Yes. Dad stepped in for the girls. We had a fantastic time. Michael stepped in for the boys. Also had a good time. I usually showed up, you know, a little late for most of the basketball games, getting out of work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one nothing Bobcats as the Rams bat here in the bottom of inning number three, top of the lineup. Frazier, McQuillan, Norton for the Rams bat against Megan Cramp. Struck out six so far. Frazier slaps it third base side. Safe. Anna with her speed beats it out. Second hit for Anna. She doubled in the first. Couldn't ask for a better placement on that bunt. Perfect. Anna's got that little, that little slap shot that she it's almost a wizard at. It's going to bring up. Logan McQuillan struck out her first at bat in the first inning. Rams definitely had chances to score through the first two, just have not broken through. Frazier with a leadoff double in the first, could not score. Rams with runners at first and second last inning, could not score. 
Quillen squares her on the bunt. Nice bunt right back to the pitcher just in time. As Cramp throws over to Rothenbuehler for out number one. One three on the put out. We'll bring up T. Norton down to second base is Anna Frazier. Norton 386 last year, struck out in the first. One nothing Bobcats as the Rams bat here in the bottom of the third inning at Sonora. It's 48 degrees at game time. Sun's finally broken through here. Rams pitch stays outside. One ball, no strikes to the Rams shortstop, Tegan Norton. Tegan started to play better as the basketball season went on, the last third of the season. One old pitch for Norton. Counts even at one ball, one strike, one out. Rams trail by one, one nothing here as they bat in the bottom of the third. Frazier at second with one out. Pitch to Norton. Strong on a miss. Throw down to third. Frazier slides, catches the corner of the bag and hangs on for dear life. So Anna in at third base. Almost had too much momentum going in there. Almost overslid it. Yes. I like that technique though. That's slide nice. Like to outside yeah. the base, right? Sometimes that extra little millisecond it takes to get right. the ball that, that much farther back is just enough. <laughs> one ball, two strikes to the Rams shortstop. Tegan Norton, one out. One nothing Bowling Green here as the Rams bat in the bottom of the third inning. Could be a bit warmer here, but I don't think anybody's complaining. We are here for the season opener at Snore High School, Lady Rams. Coming off that 19-4 and four GMC championship last season. Pitch stays high, count even. Two balls and two strikes. Only lost one senior. Unfortunately, they did lose Devonna Holmes due to a injury. So Devonna will miss all of their senior season this year. That pesky injury bug. Yep. It gets you once in a while. 2-2 two, two pitch. Nice off-speed pitch. Gets Norton swinging. Tegan, Tegan goes down for the second time. Out number two. Huge out for Cramp and the Bobcats. Skyly Zolman steps in. Skyly also struck out her first plate appearance. Runner at third. Two outs now. Frazier standing on a bag down by Coach Fairchild at third. Cramp's pitch to Skyly. Stays outside. Ball one. Bowling Green from the NLL. I think they're a Division One team, actually. In softball, that is. Cramps 102, Zolman. Swung on. Fouled right back at Dr. AJ there. <laughs> I was ready, Keith. <laughs> Had my glove up and everything. <laughs> Count evens at one ball and one strike. Wind picked up a little bit here now, blowing from left to right. Paige Gamby on deck for Lady Rams. Cramps 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Zolman Frazier at third. Bobcats up 1-0. Pitch to Skyly stays outside low. Skyly last year had eight homers, 22 RBIs, batted 304. Cramp gets the sign, steps back on the rubber. Her 2-1 pitch to Skyly is a little bit low. Nice stop by Cassidy Craigle, the Bobcats catcher. You know, coming in the middle of this lineup here, you, you, you got Skyly sitting in you know the cleanup position in four, but you really don't get a break for the next three or four batters, really, as far as power hitting goes. All, all it takes is one pitch, and it could clear the bases. Yep. Many of these next few batters here, you know, you followed up with Paige Gamby on deck. She's, you know, a freshman, but she's about to prove herself yes, here in this season. Much so. uh, and then you got Paige Carpenter, which was known last year to yep. hit, hit a couple yep. home runs. So, you know, you, you've got some power here that's, you know, a pitcher's nightmare. You get through those first four batters, and you think, okay, maybe I can relax a second. But nope, <laughs> no. not with these Rams. 3-2 pitch to Skyly. Drills Speaking deep of. right field. Not quite the home run, but it'll get us a run. Wilhelm can't make the play. Scoring is Frazier to tie the game. Or left field that was. Deep left field. I think I said right field is left field. Zolman on with an RBI double to tie the game here in the third inning. Wilhelm just couldn't get over there in time. Actually, from here, it looked like it may go. We saw Skyly with several bombs last year. 
Gamby steps in with the game now tied at one. Zolman at second. Gamby takes the pitch up and in. Yeah, the way that came off the bat, it looked like it, it looked some, like some it. distance and it almost like died kind out there a little halfway bit. Halfway out there, kind of, yeah. Just nosedive. Well, Skyly's on with an RBI double. Helps herself there. 1 0 pitch coming to Gamby from Cramp. That one's inside, catches the corner. Count evens at one ball, one strike. I know Paige playing basketball at the JV level. Like, with her dad doing the games, he couldn't wait to get Paige out here. He said she was just going to be a beast here at the varsity level for softball. 1 1 pitch to, to Paige Gamby. Fouled off first base side, out of play. One ball, two strikes to Paige Gamby. Rams third baseman taking over for Quinn Horn. Paige Carpenter on deck for the Lady Rams. One, two pitch from Cramp coming to Gamby. He's only a second. We are tied at one here in the bottom of the third. Inside, count evens, two balls, two strikes. Nice stop by the backstop again, Cassidy Craigle. Gamby steps in with the ball. For the count at two balls and two strikes. Ramson, the Forest Green jersey with the black pants. White numbers, black trim. Cramps 2-2. Two, two. Oh! Fouled off straight back. Way behind us. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Zolman at second. Zolman with an RBI double to tie the game at one here in the bottom of the third. Cramps 2-2 two, two coming to Gamby. Inside corner, strike three call. So Gamby goes down looking. Route number three, the Rams finally break through, get one run. Do so with two hits, no errors. Rams leave one. After three here at Sonora High School, we are tied at one. Signs Excavating of Defiance offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Signs Excavating can assist with general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Signs Excavating is here to assist. Signs Trucking Service can also assist in any of your equipment hauling needs. They're located at 2147 State Route 66. Signs Excavating, family owned and operated since 1999. For any excavating needs, give Josh a call at 419-769-2290. And for your trucking needs, bring up Brad, 419 Be sure to visit them online at signsexcavating.com or Signs Excavating on Facebook. Signs Excavating wishes all the best to the Tenora Rams athletes. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back at Tenora High School, top of inning number four, Keith Brown, Dr. Fairchild with you. Zolman with a REI double to help herself there in the bottom part of the third inning. For the Bobcats, 5, 6, and 7 to face Zolman. First pitch. It's a little bit low to Cassidy Kragel. She reached on an error in the second inning. Ground ball to shortstop Norton. Flipped it over to McQuillan. The ball popped out of Logan's glove. Fell to the ground. 1-0 pitch. Tap foul, third base side. Count evens one ball and one strike. Then we're going to have sun the rest of the game. The clouds have cleared out. Blue sky is upon us. Sunny in 48 here in Defiance, Ohio. Good start to the spring season here. 1-1 one, one pitch. Laced on the ground to second base. Logan McQuillan scoops it up. Fires over to first base to Paige Carpenter. Retiring. Krogel for out number one. 4-3 on the put out. It's going to break up Megan Cramp. Cramp, the pitcher, sacrificed her first plate appearance. Cramp with eight strikeouts on the hill for the Bobcats in this tie game here as the Bobcats bat in the top of the fourth inning. Zolman's pitch swung on and missed. So again, Skyly last year, 18-2. and two. She had 226 strikeouts and 125 innings. Allowed 43 earned runs. 0-1 pitch, 
squared around the punt. I punted it right back into Tanae Smith. No balls and two strikes now to Megan Cramp. Cramp on the hill, the number six hitter on deck is the designated player, Caitlin Rashley. 0 2 pitch, the ball. One ball, two strikes, one out. Nobody on for the Bobcats as they bat here in the top of the fourth inning. A tie game at one. Strike three. Cramp goes down swinging for out number one. For Skyly, that's her ninth strikeout. Good pitch placement there. Uh, got her kind of chase on the outside of the plate, comes back on the inside of the plate and kind of jams her up, can't get the hands on it. First pitch to Caitlin Ashley is ball one. Ashley struck out her first plate appearance in the second inning. Like everybody in both lineups have struck out at least once, it seems. Strike two. Kind of see on deck for the Bobcats. One ball, two strikes to Rashley. So let's pitch a bit outside. Count evens, two balls and two strikes. Both teams with a run in the third. They're tied at one as the Bobcats bat here in the top of the fourth inning. Season opener here at Tenor High School. The pitch from Skyly, 2-2 two -two pitch. Inside corner, strike three. Ten strikeout for Zolman. Look, I don't know. We're up here, AJ, but it's just a little bit inside. But yeah, I, guess I was not. just thinking, you know, <laughs> he's consistent because uh, last inning there, the, the, you know, the bottom of the inning, uh, Gamby went down looking at about the same pitch. So he's he's consistent, but man, he does like that inside corner. That's for sure. For the Bobcats, no runs, no hits, no ram errors, nobody left on. Heading to the bottom part of inning number four, tied at one. The Law Office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Back here, our bottom of inning number four, tied at one here on Tenora Rams Live. Keith Brown, Dr. Fairchild with you. Don't forget, April 15th is the Tenora Athletic Boosters Reverse Raffle. Get your tickets, $50 each. Meal is provided. Night of fun. That's a Saturday night at the Ridgeville Legion. Actually, Many events going on there. And actually during the middle of that, we're having our well, winter fundraiser raffle. Grand prize there is $3,500, I believe. I think it's 3000 3000 Okay, yes, 3000 As I, mean, I said it a million and one times, <laughs> just not in the last 30 days. Uh, grand prize is $3,000. Second prize is 2000 Third prize is 1000 and your fourth prize is $500. So, yes, you could, in theory, win $6,500. Tickets are $10 each, six for 50 Get with any booster, or I think Brad has them at uh, the Oklahoma Tavern stop out there and harass Brad a bit or Julie and get yourself some booster tickets. He said, or as I said, many a Friday and Saturday night during the basketball season who couldn't use... A little bit of extra cash to pay off. I'm sure everybody's still got Christmas debt, but. <laughs> Carpenter steps in. First pitch to Page is ball one. Page was hit by a pitch in the second inning. Carpenter 324 last season. Two home runs, 13 RBI. Pitch is foul back count evens at one ball and one strike. We have a new pitcher for bowling. Green. Zoe Zeems, the sophomore, is on the hill. 
So Zeems takes over for Cramp. One one pitch to Carpenter stays a little bit outside. Two balls and one strike. Tied at one here as the Rams bat in the fourth inning. Pitch is a little bit low. Two balls, one strike. Base is empty. As a, or three balls, one strike. Base is empty as the Rams bat here in the bottom of the fourth. Tied at four. We're tied at four. Tied at one. Here in, in the, the four. Fourth. In the fourth. <laughs> three one pitch to Page. That's is the inside corner. Count was full. Three and two. So a sophomore Zeems on the mound. She's a righty. Very effective three innings for Megan Cramp. Zolman go or Zolman. Carpenter goes down. First out. It's a ninth strikeout for the Bowling Green Bobcats pitchers. First for Zeems. Tanae Smith struck out in the second. Tanae, 220 in 2022. Swung on and missed. Zoe Rostai on deck for Tenora. Tied to one here in the bottom of the fourth. Base is empty. One out. Smith at the plate. Zeems. Throw, swung on and miss. No balls and two strikes to Tanae Smith. O2 pitch coming to Smith. That one's low and away. One ball, two strikes to Tanae. One out. There's a Rams bat in the bottom of the fourth here in this 1 1 game. It's one thing I noticed. He has not been calling the outside corner. No, over. not at all. <laughs> one, two pitch from Zeems to Tanae Smith. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Smith goes down for out number two. Ten strikeout for Bobcaps pitching. Rostai steps in. The number eight hitter, Zoe Rostai, playing in left field. Had a 227 last season. She struck out in the second inning. Against then pitcher Megan Cramp. Foul first base side into the safety. That in front of the first base dugout. Nice stop over there by Coach B. No balls, one strike, two outs. So we Ross die at the plate. Inside ball one. So I think Coach Barker, which had her baby shower Sunday. So congratulations to Coach B. 1-1 one, one coming to Ross Dye. Line shot just off the glove of the second baseman into right field. Ross Dye with a smash off the second baseman's glove. Just outside of the range there. Couldn't quite get to it and gets her a base hit. So Ross dies on his first with two outs. Pittman steps in. Number nine hitter playing in right field. Two outs. One on. One one tie here in the fourth inning. Check swing. Strike one called. Zeems on in relief of Cramp on the hill for the Bobcats. First inning of relief for her. 0-1 pitch to Pittman. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Top of the lineup on deck. Anna Frazier awaits here in this 1-1 game. Ross die on it first. Pittman at the plate. 0-2 pitch coming to or from Zeems. That's low. Ball off the catcher's shin guard. 
just bounces enough away to allow Rostai to jot down to second base. So Rostai in scoring position. One ball, two strikes now to Pittman. One, two, pitch coming. Hello. Count evens, two balls and two strikes. Two outs. Game tied at one here in the bottom of the fourth inning as the Rams bats. Go ahead, run. Runner now at second, Zoe Rostai. Aaron Pittman at the plate. 2-2 two, two pitch coming from her, from Zoe Zeems. That's low. Pittman has worked to count full to three balls and two strikes. Set the top of the lineup on deck and a Frazier. And a two for two. Payoff pitch coming to Pittman from Zeems. Inside yeah. strike three. Nice little delayed call there. Pittman goes down for out number three. The Rams threaten. They do not score. No runs. One hit. No errors. One runner left on base. After four here at Tenora High School, we are still tied at one. Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2022. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams. After four, we're tied at one. For the Bobcats, here on the top of the fifth, eight, nine, and one, Kennedy, Brown, and Wilhelm to face Skyly Zolman. Squared around the bunt. Yeah, we got some drop zone pizzeria, uh, pizza, and some cheese bread this weekend. It was, oh, it was man. pretty good. That is one of their best around. Grab some. Yes. One ball, no strike pitch from Zolman. Strike or ball two to Conacy. Conacy struck out in the second. Seem to like we said. Seem to be saying a lot about everybody. Everybody struck out at least once, I think, and both lineups other than Anna Frazier. Square around the bunt. Strike called. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out. Bases empty as the Bobcats bat here in the top of the fifth inning. Single tallies for both teams in the third, tied at one. Bunts it foul. This time to the backstop. Two balls, two strikes for the number eight hitter, Sarah Conacy. Kennedy Brown on deck for the Bobcats. First three innings we had runners on base galore. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Down goes Conacy for the first out in the fifth inning. Strikeout number 11 for Skyly. Number nine here, Kennedy Brown steps in. Brown scored the Bobcats lone run in the third. Pitch to her. Called a strike. She walked, went to second base on a wild pitch, and scored on the RBI single by McKenna Oates. Zolman zone one. Strike two called. She said Skyly picking up where she left off last year, averaging almost a strikeout an inning. Just a shade under. 226 strikeouts and 125 innings pitch for Skyly. 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed. Strike three, down goes Brown. Strikeout 12 for Skyly, out number two, top of the lineup for the Bobcats. Bren Wilhelm. Wilhelm struck out twice, looking both times. Solomon's pitch as he squares her on the bunch. She bunts it foul to the backstop. To look ahead 
to the Rams, bottom of the fifth inning, top of the lineup. Frazier, McQuillan, and Norton to bat against Zoe Zeems, who came in on the relief of Megan Cramp last inning. Wilhelm digs in. Owen pitches from Zolman. Nice. Must have been a bit outside. <laughs> one ball, one strike, two outs. Base is empty. And Wilhelm's. Pitch coming from Skyly. That one that's almost the same spot. <laughs> one ball, two strikes. That one, Wilhelm. <laughs> that one's pretty much right in the middle of the strike zone. I'm not sure why the, the batter kind of took that pitch. That was best pitch you're going to see from Skyly. That one's a bit outside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Tight at one here in the top of the fifth inning. Sun showering the field now. We started off the first couple innings. We're sun behind the clouds. 2-2 two -two pitch, strike three called. Wilhelm goes down looking for the third straight time. Out number three for Skyly. That's her 13th strikeout in the inning. Bobcats go quickly. They go down in order. No runs, no hits, no Lady Ram errors, and nobody left on base. Bottom of the fifth inning coming up. We said top of the lineup for the Rams. Frazier, McQuillan, and Norton. Stay tuned. Tied at one. Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive in Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at FairchildFamilyChiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla, proud members of the it's Nora Athletic Boosters. Say go Rams. After four and a half, tight at one. How are things at the office, Dr. AJ? You and Dr. Kayla there? Oh, going well. It's always building up and getting uh, bigger and better and loving what we do every day. It's uh, it's a real treat to get to see what kind of impact we make on the community and, and those that are involved and and see how wide stretching what we do actually is. Awesome. You know, you, you take care of one person, but that might affect their entire right. family. Absolutely. So it's, it's always awesome to hear some of those stories coming back to us and and how it brightens their day every day. Oh, great. People want to get a hold of you. What do they do? Uh, you can either call the office at 419-576-5070, or you can go online and book it on our, on our website at uh, fairchildfamilychiro.com. There you go. Dr. AJ, located kind of behind the Estelle Chevrolet way, across from the car wash there, I guess, in that general area. So get a, get a hold of Dr. AJ, Dr. Kayla. They hook you up. Top of the Rams lineup, Frazier, McQuillan, and Norton to bat against Zeems. Anna's been on base twice, doubled to lead off the game in the first. She singled and then scored in the third on an RBI by Skyly Zolman. So Frazier going to dig in against Zeems, her second inning of work. A timeout for the Bobcats. Bobcats. Coach Norman, Casey Norman's going to come out and have a. Looks like an uh, equipment. Yeah, so I was wondering, like a wristband or what guy. or something there. Looks like the, the strap in the face mask came loose and fell off. Coach Fairchild chatting with Anna Frazier down at third. Rams coming off that GMC championship last season at 19 and 4. Fantastic season for the Lady Rams, where the Bobcats of Bowling Green were 14 and 7 last year. And 9 and 5 in the NL or N N L. Got the uh, face mask situated. Frazier steps in against Zeems. First pitch. Frazier lines it by the third baseman down there. Uh, Oates may think twice about uh, rushing there. I was thinking going to make Coach Fairchild, Coach think Fairchild twice jumped, her run on jumped out of the way, yes. Taking a little bit of frustration on Coach there. Zeem's pitch coming to Frazier, 0-1. Anna, 475 last year. Takes that one, catches the outside corner. No balls and two strikes to the Rams center fielder, senior Anna Frazier. Rams just one senior last year. This year, senior heavy. That's without Devonna Holmes, unfortunately. Said earlier, Devonna will miss her senior season due to a knee injury. 0-2 pitch. 
A little bit low on outside. One ball. Two strikes. No out. Nobody on. Game tied to one as the Rams bat here in the bottom of inning number five. Keith Brown, Dr. Fairchild with you. That's what turned into a rather nice Tuesday. A little unintentional bunt. Rolls on the left of the line, third base side. So Frazier definitely would have had a single on that. Heads back to the box. Picks up the bat. Going to face a 1-2 count against Zoe Zeem. Second inning work for Zeems. Megan Cramp worked the first three innings. Pitch it very effectively. 1-2 pitch. Frazier. Ground ball. Short stop side. She bobbles it. Can't make a play. Well, she throws over just not in time. So Frazier is on at first base. Not sure that they would have thrown her out That's either, AJ. So we're going to really give her a single. Yeah, it, the ball kind of hit the dirt and died and gave Anna enough time to get over there. I don't I don't know if, if she feels that cleanly. I don't think she would have. So Lillian Wilkie is short. Scooped it up. Like I said, I don't know that she's getting in, especially batting from the left side. Play. So McQuillan digs in with the go-ahead run at first with nobody out here. Tied to one in the bottom of the fifth. Pitch too low. Logan is a little bit low. Ball one. That's one thing we saw a lot of last year with Anna Frazier's, even those routine infield oh, yes. ground balls yep. that usually are given outs are close plays or, you know, a base hit because of her speed. Seems 1-0 pitch to McQuillan. Frazier with a nice lead there. Two balls and no strikes to Logan. Keegan Norton awaits on deck. It's one thing when you bat from the left side, you almost have like a step and a half, two-step lead already with a ball in play from batting, opposed to batting from the right side on your jaunt down the first base there. Zeems 2-0 pitch coming to McQuillan. Strike called, two balls and one strike to Logan. Five seniors for Coach Fairchild this year, four active seniors with Holmes unable to play. But one freshman, <laughs> Paige Gamby. 2-1 pitch coming to McQuillan. Swung on, fouled back. Count evens, two balls and two strikes. Bottom of the fifth, tied at one. Go ahead, run it first, and Anna Frazier. Both teams with a single run in the third. Quinn picks up just a little bit, now blowing from left to right. Probably less than 10 miles an hour. Zeems 2-2 pitch to McQuillan. Fly ball. Left field, left fielder comes in, snags it for out number one. First out, McQuillan retired, fly ball to the left fielder. One out, Tegan Norton steps in. Tegan 0 for 2, struck out both times, batted 386 in 2022. Frazier at first, one out. Zeems pitched to Norton. That's outside. If Coach, here, Coach Fairchild moves Frazier here. Zeems long look in. Gets the sign from her catcher. 1-0 pitch coming. Inside. Frazier stays put. Two balls. No strikes to Tegan Norton. That was just a bit too far inside from yes. the ball in that corner. <laughs> Norton Rams junior shortstop bats from the right side. 386 last year. 2-0 pitch coming from Zeems to Tegan. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Skyly Zolman on deck for Tenora. The Rams have three games coming up this week. Thursday, makeup game here versus Holgate. Friday, Archibald. Saturday, Patrick Henry. And next week, I think the Rams are at home as well quite a few times. 2 1 pitch to. Norton stays outside. Frazier steals the bag at second. So Anna. With her second steal, is in scoring position a second. 3 1 pitch to Norton. Zeems on the hill in her second inning of relief from Cramp. Inside pitch off the handle. 
Wind it into the first base dugout. Strike two. Three balls, two strikes now. We are tied at one. Here is the Rams bat in the bottom of the fifth inning. That's one of those pitches you had to do something with because that was probably going to be called a strike there, so not much to do when it's in on your hands like that. 3-2 pitch coming. That's low ball four. Norton works the walk. She trots down the first base. Rams with runners at first and second. One out. Skyly Zolman with a chance to help herself as she did in inning number three. As uh, Anna Frazier seals third there on that same pitch. <laughs> yeah, she kind did. Of like Very alertly. Anna, it's like a cat. You look down and she's, <laughs> she's at another base. So Anna with her third steal here today. Runners at the corners. Zolman at the dish. See what Coach Fairchild tries to move the runner at first, which he normally does. And down to second base goes Tegan. No throw. Uncontested steal for Norton. So Rams with runners at second and third with one out. Zolman at the dish. One ball, no strike count in the tie game here in the bottom of the fifth inning. We're tied at one. 1-0 One -oh pitch outside, ball two. This is that same meat of the lineup here that I was talking about last uh, last time they had base runners on. And See if not much you can do here. You've got to go after Skyly and, and pitch to her. You yep. can't let her get on because then you have bases loaded for Paige Gamby and, and you know, so on and so forth. So That's inside. Nice stop there by the catcher. Cassidy Craigle saved a run. That was tickets for the backstop. Three balls, no strikes to Skyly. She definitely has the green light here. Going to hit over that left field fence with that little dog sitting out there watching. 3-0 to Zolman. Swung on and missed strike one. I think Skyly was trying to hit to that dog out there. <laughs> Fetch this one. <laughs> Skyly said, well, what she wants to say. <laughs> Can be on deck. Rams. Runners at second and third, tied at one here in the bottom of the fifth. Three one pitch from Zeems to Zolman. Inside ball four. Zolman trots down the first base. Skyly works the walk. That loads him up. Frazier at third. Norton at second. Zolman on at first. Paige Gamby walked in the second, struck out in the third. Bases full of Rams. No place to put him. Zeems on the hill. Can be at the plate. Freshman digs in from the right side. Check swing, strike one. Paige Carpenter on deck for Tenora. If Camby just needs to put the ball in play here. No balls, one strike. A little bit low. Count evens. At one and one. As you know, AJ, if this was Coach Renolette, we'd have a suicide squeeze here. <laughs> you know, that's something we did, and I think that's how they won the state yeah, yeah, championship. Absolutely, he yes. Suicide squeeze at the semifinal. Correct. Uh, oh, yeah, the sem semifinal. Logan yes. Dickerson was yep. the one that stole the base there. One, one pitch. Swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes now. Bases full of Rams. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Paige Gamby, Rams third baseman, digs in. Zeems one, two. Strike three called. Gamby caught looking for out number two. Base is still loaded. It's going to bring up Paige Carpenter. Carpenter, 324 last season. Two homers, 13 RBIs. Hit by a pitch in the second, and she struck out in the fourth. Zeems pitching with the bases loaded to Carpenter. Swung on and missed. Strike one to Page. In this situation, anything that gets to the infield here is is as good as a you know good as a win. It takes you takes you up by a run. Get through. Carpenter off the second baseman's glove. She gathers it, recovers nicely. Over to retire Carpenter for a split second there. I thought I was going to roll up her arm, 
but the second baseman, Wilkie, made a nice recovery for retiring Carpenter. <laughs> Four to three. Route number three. The Rams threaten. Do not score. They leave him loaded. For Tenora, no runs. And getting one hit. No errors. And they leave three. Rams have left eight through five. We are tied at one as we head in to the top of the sixth inning. We'll be back right after this time out. The Law Office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Over at Macomb, Rams up 3-2 to two as they bat in the top of the fourth inning. Season opener for Rams baseball as well. Here we are tied at one as Bowling Green bats in the top of inning number six. Zolman on the mound for Tenora. First pitch to the number two hitter, McKenna Oates, is a strike. 2-3-4 for Bowling Green to bat against Skyly. 13 strikeouts for Zolman. Pitch is hit through the box. Zolman lets it go. Scooped up by Tegan Norton. Low throw scooped up by Carpenter over at first base to retire Oates for out number one. Nice play all around there by Tenora. Zoe Zeems steps in. Started the game at third. Came on in relief in the fourth on the mound in place of Cramp. That was, that was a strike. That was a deadly change of wow. <laughs> kind of just floated in, in front. there. Zeems 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Zolman 0 1. That's a heater. No balls and two strikes. One out. Base is empty. Tight at one. Here is the Bobcats bat in the top of inning number six. Heart of the order. Three, four, and five for the Bobcats. Off speed pitch. Down goes Zeems. For out number two. 14 strikeouts for Skyly. Rothis Bueller steps in for the Bobcats. She walked in the second, struck out looking in the third. Skyly, off speed pitch, outside corner, strike one cold. Nice pitch by Skyly. Zolman ready, her pitch, that's high and away. Count evens, one ball and one strike, two outs. Nobody on for the Bobcats as they bat here on the top of the sixth. We are tied at one. Rams golden opportunity last inning could not score. Change up outside corner just misses it. Two balls and one strike. Wind still blowing from left to right. Temperature holding steady at 48. When your David Frank weather forecast. 2-1 pitch, swung on and missed. Roth and Bueller are just a little bit behind on that. Zolman heater, AJ. Yeah, it's just she's been throwing a lot of off speed and mixing it up a lot and catching them off guard. There it is again. Perfect example. <laughs> another example. Two two pitch to Rothenbuehler. Way out in front there. Down goes Rothenbuehler. Strike all number 15 for Skyly. She makes quick work of the Bobcats here in the sixth. For Bowling Green, no runs, no hit, no Lady Rams errors. Bowling Green does not leave anybody on base. We're going to head to the bottom of inning number six here at Sonora High School. We are still tied at one. Okolona Tavern, located in downtown Okolona, is the home of the famous Oki Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy an ice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okolona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okolona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. 
Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back here at Tenora High School, we are tied at one as the Rams bat in the bottom of inning number six. Rams threatened last inning. They had bases full of Lady Rams with one out, could not score. Zeman's finishing up the warm-up pitches here for her third inning of relief in place of Megan Cramp. Cramp worked the first three, allowed one run, striking out seven. For Tenora, bottom part of the order, seven, eight, nine, Smith, Rostai, and Pittman to face Zoe Zeems. Smith 0 for 2, two strikeouts for the Rams catcher, Tanae Smith. Smith, just a junior. Steps in, right side of the box against Zeems. First pitch is a ball one. So we'll be back here Thursday, makeup game versus Holgate. Friday versus Archibald, and Saturday versus Patrick Henry. Swung on and missed. Count evens, one ball and one strike. So lots of softball here at the Lady Rams softball complex. Get on out here. The weather's supposed to be decent towards the end of the week. A little, looks like a little bit of rain, on, I think, on Thursday. But the field looks fantastic for the amount of, yes, uh, of wet weather we've had. 1-1 one, one pitch. Smith squares her on the button. Bunts a foul. Coach Fairchild did a great job over here. Can't even tell that it actually was wet a couple days ago. Actually, yesterday, honestly. No, they did a lot of work to this field last year in the preseason right. and stuff to get get the field looking nice and so that way it drains yep. well. And, and they it, obviously did a great job getting it ready because it, like all year yeah. last year, as long as it wasn't pouring and down could, rain, the game was played. Play, yes. 1-2 pitch. Smith... Shoots it just foul outside of the bag at first. Count stays at one ball and two strikes. Zoe Rostaya waits on deck for the Lady Ram singled her last at bat. Tanae Smith. Trying to scoot one through first baseman way in at the bag. Third baseman almost even with the bag at third. One two pitch coming to Smith. Swung on in. Smith goes down for the third straight time. Out number one. Zoe Rostai singled her last plate appearance. Zoe is one for two. Struck out in the second. Singled in the fourth. Third baseman comes in. First baseman backs up a step or two. Zeem's pitch coming to Rostai. Stays a little bit low. We're tied at one. Both teams with a run in the third. We said Rams golden opportunity last inning just could not score. One ball, no strike pitch coming. That one's a little bit low. Two balls and no strikes. To the Rams left fielder Zoe Rostai. Rostai a sophomore. For Coach Fairchild. Zeems on the hill for the Bobcats. You got it, 3 4. 2 0 pitch coming to Zoe Rostai. Outside, ball three. Not going to get that outside corner. Not tonight. Nope, not tonight. Maybe the inside one, not the outside one. <laughs> got to be there, Zoe. So Rostai has worked the count to three balls and no strikes. Outside, ball four, down to first base with a one-out walk goes Zoe Rostai. He summons Emily Volmar over to the JV game. Chris Wittick coming over to get Emily, so somebody must be injured over there. JV action next door here. The Varsity is playing at Macomb. Oh, they were up 3-2 in the fourth, last report from Bridget. Pittman steps in, fouls off the first pitch at the plate. No balls and one strike. 0 for 2 for the Rams right fielder. Tight at 1 here in the bottom of inning number 6. No balls, one strike, one out here. Season opener here at Sonora High School. Nice crowd, actually. 
this season. That was here last week for their, their first scrimmage. I guess their only scrimmage right. in the rain, but uh, they had a pretty good crowd here for that, too. Swung on and missed strike two. You can do it, Mary. Mary Pittman, one of the Rams seniors this season. Ross Dye on it first. 0-2 pitch coming. That's inside. One ball, two strikes, one out. Tight at one here in the bottom of the sixth. Zeems on the hill. Her one, two. Chop first base side. First baseman scoops it up. Down to second base goes Rostai. Pittman is retired. 4-3 for out number two. Oh, it might sneak through there. Did not. Anna Frazier digs in. Frazier. Three straight singles for Anna. Go ahead, run is at the second. Tight at one here in the bottom of the sixth. Frazier 475 last year. She had 26 steals. She has three here tonight. Slaps it shortstop side through the wickets of the shortstop. Advancing to third base was Rostai. I don't think she could have scored on that anyways. Ball was hit right in front of her. She kind of hopped over it. Shielded the shortstop. Uh, wondering if the coach is going out there to ask about some sort of uh, obstruction going on there. So Frazier is on. Yes. Because, yeah, she's got to give that fielder a chance to make the I don't know that she play, made yes. contact with her, though. I don't think she – she just kind of jumped over the ball, yeah, basically. That, couldn't tell. I know it was close. I can't, couldn't tell where she was at exactly, but – So it looks coach, like they're leaving that. Yeah, yeah Coach okay. Nallman so comes out there. Contact. The umpire, the field umpire said that Zolman did not make contact, which I don't think she did. I just think she shielded the shortstop from the ball and it went right through her. And Rostai unable to advance. So the Rams have runners at first and third. Frazier definitely going to take off her second here. McQuillan steps in. Logan is 0 for 2 with a sacrifice in the third. Struck out in the first, sacrifice in the third, flew out the center in the fifth. Timed at one here in the bottom of the sixth. Rams with runners at the corners, two outs. Pitch to McQuillan. There's a ball down to second base, uncontested steal again. Anna Frazier. So Rams with runners at second and third now. We are tied at one. Swung on and miss. McQuillan. Two outs. One ball, one strike, two outs. Logan McQuillan, the Rams' second baseman, digs back in. Zeem's pitch, swung on and miss. Strike two. One ball, two strikes to the number two hitter, Logan McQuillan, batted 406 last season. Tegan Norton ball, it's ball. on deck for Tenora. One, two, coming. Fouled off first base side. Tied at one. One, two, coming from Zeem Zeems. We said on relief for the starter, Megan Cramp. It's a shortstop side off the shortstop's glove. Scoring is Ross Ty scoring right behind her is Frazier into second base on the slide is McQuillan. <coughs> so the Rams grab a 3-1 lead. Ross Ty breaks the tie. Frazier scores run number three. McQuillan is on at second. Rams lead 3-1 here in the bottom of inning number six. 
Come on, Stegan. So McQuillan. Hey, take in your turn. RBI single gives the Rams a 3-1 lead. That's a smash off the bat to the shortstop. Yeah, hit a little hard for her to, to field cleanly. Pitch to Norton. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Two outs. Rams have grabbed a 3-1 lead as they bat here in the bottom of inning number six. McQuillan on to second. Norton at the dish. Pitch to Tegan is inside for a ball. Both teams with a single run in the third. Rams with two here in the sixth, still batting. Leading 3-1. 1-1 coming to the Rams shortstop. Norton swung on and missed strike two. Norton two strikeouts since she walked. Last inning. McQuillan on at second. Pitch. Foul back off the bat of Norton. We battle. On deck for Tenora, Skyly Zolman. Zolman. Heck of a afternoon on the mound. Allowed just one hit, one run. Which I believe was unearned. But I have to go back and look next inning when Pauline Reed comes to bat. And Skyler has struck out 15 through six. Runner a second. McQuillan, one, two pitch coming to Norton. She goes down on strikes for out number three for the Rams. They do a little bit of damage. They score two runs here in the sixth inning. They do so on one hit, one error, and one runner left. We're going to head to the top of inning number seven here at Sonora High School. Sonora three and Bowling Green one. We'll be back right after this here on Sonora Rams Live. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one -on -one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing rather than going to the gym merely. To work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Back at Sonora High School, Rams with two in the bottom of the six have grabbed a three to one lead. <laughs> Zolman on the mound for the Rams trying to complete the season opening win. The Skyly with 15 strikeouts through six. She's allowed one hit and one run. Went back and looked, that was an earned run in the third inning. Stay tuned, we'll have the post game show coming up. And then we'll have the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award. First pitch, slam back up the middle. Norton fields it, fires over to first base in time to retire. Cassidy Craigle for out number one. 6-3 on the put out. Megan Cramp going to dig in. Cramp, sacrifice, bunt in the second. She struck out in the fourth. Pitch is inside. 3-1 Rams is the Bobcats bat in the top of inning number seven. Keith Brown, Dr. A.J. Fairchild here on this Tuesday. You know, plays like that there by Teague, and that, that just shows Skyly that she can trust her field yep. to make yep. plays when, she, when they do get a hold of yep. it. And, and uh, it only builds confidence and allows her to work. As, as we said earlier, uh, Logan, the second base last year, had many uh, all-star plays out there. Two balls, no strikes. One out is the Bobcats bat here in the top of inning number seven for the Rams. Three runs. One run in the third and a two run sixth inning. 
to give the Rams a 3-1 lead here. 2-0 pitch. Must have been low, ball three. Three balls, no strikes. Two number six hitter. Megan Cramp. Cramp started the game with the first three. Allowed one run. Struck out six. Bunt right back to the mound. Zolman scoops it up. McQuillan swings over, covers the bag at first. So Cramp's down for out number two. One four on the put out with McQuillan covering as Carpenter raced in to field it. Zolman scooped it up and fired over. Caitlin Ashley, 0 for 2, two strikeouts, steps in. That pitch is strike one. No balls, one strike, two outs here. Bobcats down to their final out. <laughs> Whoa! That's why you gotta pay attention over there because there are lasers that come off these bats. Not quite as far away as what you think. And that one, just a bit, about a foot away from the on deck hitter, on, on deck hitter for the Bobcats. Skyly's old old two pitch. Swung on and missed. Down goes Rashley. Out number three. For Zolman, that's her 16th strikeout. Rams with win number one here in the inning for the Bobcats. The seventh inning, no runs, no hits, no errors for the Rams, and nobody left. Stay tuned. Coming up, we will have the postgame show from Bidlack Insurance and Investments, and we will do that right after this. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back at Sonora High School, Keith Brown, Dr. A.J. Fairchild with you here. Rams with a season opening 3-1 win. Welcome to the Bidlack Insurance and Investments postgame show. <laughs> Runners of plenty through the first three innings. Both teams finally broke through with a single run in the third. Bobcats with a run in the third, and the Rams follow that up with a run in the third. Game stayed tied up until the sixth inning. The two-out single from Logan McQuillan off the shortstop's glove. Kind of a rocket shot. Shortstop fielded it. Actually, it kind of bounced off her glove to her left and trickled behind her. She scooped it up by the time she did. Rams have plated two runs. Zoe Rostai and Anna Frazier both scored to break the 1-1 tie. So the Rams with a 3-1 victory here. Final numbers. For Tenora, three runs, six hits, one error, and nine runners left. For the Bobcats, one run, just one hit, one error, and they left three on. Three runs, three runners were left on through the first three innings. And for the Rams, they left four on through the first three innings. For Skyly, Zolman picked up the win. She improves to 1 0, allowed one run. I believe that was an earned run. I'll check with Coach Fairchild afterwards. There's a wild pitch in there. But Skyly struck out 15 here tonight for the win. So a very impressive win here, AJ, for Tenora. Yeah, it's in the season over. It, you know, anytime you can come out and, and do, you know, what you did tonight, 15 strikeouts and, and uh, you know, was it three runs, two runs, something like that? Uh, three she allowed runs total. Yep, three runs so, total. Yep. Anytime you can come out and have a season opener, when you come away with a win, and you you know you get to walk away with some some objectives you got to work on going forward. But 
you know that's that's to be expected for the first time or the first game of the season uh, but to, to be able to come out with a win on top of that is, is always no plus so congratulations to coach Fairchild and the Lady Rams yeah uh, Zola a dominating performance on the mound it's just like you said Skylie struck out 15 <laughs> And she averaged just just slightly less than a strikeout per inning last year. She struck out uh, 226 in 125 innings last year. Skelly was 18 and two. She was the Crescent News Player of the Year. So uh, fantastic way that's, to start out her yeah, junior uh, season. That's averaging just under two strikeouts. Yeah, two strike yeah. right. Two strikeouts yeah, per inning. Correct. Strikeouts. Correct. And she's carrying that uh, trend on this year. I mean, 15 and, and seven. That's yes, right there again. So yep. they're trying to give away. I guess keep it up. At the dish for the Rams, uh, struggled quite a bit. Uh, Anna Frazier was on base all four times. Anna with three singles, two runs scored. She stole unofficially three bases. Well, actually, three official steals. She had one there in the six, which I think was an uncontested steal. Um, reached on there in the six. So, um, outside of Anna, the Rams did struggle at the plate. Uh, well, Logan McQuillan stopped up when she needed to. Uh, that Two RBI single there in the sixth inning to break that 1 1 tie. So, Logan, um, Rams did, they, they said they had six hits, three runs, six hits, and they left nine on base. And in inning number, inning number five, I believe, Rams had runners at second and third. Actually, had the bases loaded with one out and did not score. So, timely hitting. This is uh, game one, so we'll see. Uh, Rams definitely capable of, of uh, scoring runs. Batted 355 last year. Um, average seven runs a contest. So, Tenora and Coach Fairchild definitely with the uh, offensive capability of, of, of putting runs on the board. And if we got Skyly Zolman on the mound, um, you're never really out of a game. So, stay tuned. We'll have the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award. And we will do so right after this. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much, much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery also offers custom artwork if it is needed to complete your project. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street right here in Defiance, Ohio. Contact them at 419 419- 428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. If you are looking for a customizable item, Higby Embroidery is your place. Higby Embroidery, a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Welcome back here to Tenora High School. Keith Brown, Dr. AJ with you. Rams with a season opening 3-1 win. Tenora scored one in the third. Bobcats scored one in the third also, and that stayed that way to the bottom of the sixth inning. Rams with two runs. Break open a 1-1 tie with a 3-1 win. So welcome to the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game. Um, boy, AJ would say Skyly with <laughs> pretty much dominating performance here tonight. And... 15 strikeouts, but as, as you mentioned earlier, Skyly with uh, working on some off-speed stuff during the off-season, yeah, definitely when when needed, she would go from a heater to a off-speed pitch with a you know blink of an eye and just kept the Bobcats off balance when needed tonight. Yeah, another another player that definitely deserves a good shout out tonight is Anna Frazier going four. Oh yeah, that's that's game changing. The ability to have your leadoff yep. runner on base four out of four at, uh, attempts, whereas you know their leadoff runner was. Went down yep. looking three times in a row, so that, that changes the game when you yep. when you have those extra runners. So, so shout out to her as yes, well. Yes, two two outstanding performances here tonight. So Anna Frazier, as as Dr. AJ said, and uh, Skyly Zolman in her season opening uh, performance. So, we're going to give the player of the game tonight to Skyly Zolman, which. She accumulated quite a few of those last year. <laughs> She's starting off 2023 with a Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award right off the bat. So congratulations to Coach Fairchild on his first win. Rams improved to 1-0. Bobcats fall to 0-1. Lady Rams out here doing some field work. Um, we'll be back here. I think they said the makeup game is on Thursday versus Holgate. So the rain out from Saturday will get moved till move to Thursday. So the Tigers will come here Thursday. Friday, Archibald will be here. And Saturday, 
Patrick Henry will be here. So a full week of Lady Rams softball. Stop out here, check out one of the better teams here in our coverage area. As we said, made it to Sweet 16 last year, all the way to Elida. So, very talented Tenora Rams softball team. Stop out on the seam. So for Keith Brown, Dr. AJ, saying so long on this Tuesday night. Rams with a 3-1 victory. We'll be back here, I believe, on Thursday, weather permitting, for some more Lady Rams softball. So thank you for tuning in. You can watch us back tonight on YouTube. And we appreciate everybody. We'll see. Everybody have a fantastic night. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action and follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.